Again, my name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art painter. I'm coming to you from my art studio to talk to you about one of my one of my uh, pieces of uh, wisdom, nuggets of wisdom, I guess, uh, that have helped me in my personal life, and I hope that they help you as well by sharing them with you. Um, this one is about how to handle procrastination. Okay, uh, I hear this a lot. I hear this a lot from artists and non-artists. Everyone, just about everyone that I that I uh, talk to uh, frequently. They talk to me about this, you know. How do you do, how do you handle procrastination? I know you paint every day, you paint a lot, you, you, you're very prolific. That's the, one of the words they used to describe me. Yes, I am prolific. Uh, how do you handle procrastination? Uh, I don't let it get near me. Procrastination is a sin for me. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's unethical. To, to, to say that you have procrastination is, uh, is an unethical, it's unethical for me in my business, in my, in my, in, in my life. Uh, procrastination is just another word to say I don't feel like doing something because my feelings are consuming me somewhere else. I'm thinking about, I don't know, I'm thinking about the person who pissed me off at work or I'm thinking about... Uh, what I'm going to get my kid for Christmas or, or what, you know, it's procrastination is just another form of, of sabotage. So I see it as an unethical thing. And the way you handle that, it took me, it took me years. It shouldn't take you years, <laughs> but it took me years to, to get out of it. And I'm still getting out of it in certain aspects of my life. I don't think you really, uh, Get out of it unless you learn how to master it. And I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm learning to master it now. At, at first, I, I knew it was a problem, but I, it's, it's like a ghost. You can't see it because you think you're doing a lot. You know, it's like the person that, that says, I want to be a painter, right? And they go and they buy art supplies and they get really excited. They get, they get, they get, you know, jack excited. They go and buy art supplies. They go into their local art supply store and they get canvases and paints and all that. And then they get excited and then they're like, oh, they go on YouTube. They watch little YouTube videos on how to paint and this and that, how to mix color. And they, they, they become so obsessed by a whole day that the next day they're like, oh man, they look at the paint. You know, they, they get so tired of it. The next day they look at it and they're like, oh. It's like people who, who never exercise, you know, uh, and, and <laughs> I, I laugh because I'm, I'm pretty much one of those people here and there, but uh, I, I, I do, I, I do exercise. I, I don't as I should, <laughs> but I do. <laughs> and, and, um, and, and, and go and run, I don't know, 10 miles, right? Let's say they go and run 10 miles or whatever, you know, and then they, they don't want to even think about exercising or people who who don't drink, I don't know. <laughs> and then they get drunk one night and then the next day they're like, oh my God, I should have never done that, you know? They don't enjoy it. They don't just kind of go and have a beer with their buddies or whatever. They have to go get wasted, you know? Uh, whatever, I know I'm, I'm, I'm jumping, but I'm trying to get my, my message across. Uh, procrastination is the same thing. It's, it's you know, for, for artists, they go and, and, and they paint but then they never paint again, you know, six, seven days later or a month later, they're like, oh yeah, those paints. That's why you always uh, see in the, I remember when I was younger in the yard sales or the, or Craigslist or whatever, people selling complete art sets, you know, and I always thought, that's so weird. So many people are always selling complete art sets, just like uh, exercise equipment. You always see people selling that. Well, that's because they never follow through, right? It's uh, not always, but. I, I can imagine for the most part, they pick up on something and they're like, oh, I don't like it. No, it's not that you don't like it. For the most part, it's not that you don't like it. It's that you didn't develop. Because if you're not winning, like, like Tony Robbins says, if you're not winning, you get discouraged. You know, you have to be winning. And if you're, if, if, if you're not winning, it's because you're not doing it consistently. You're not, you're not following through. You did it one time, you got burnt, and you said, I'm not doing that again. You know, uh, same thing with art. So how do you handle it? The way to handle procrastination is to go at it so hard and then remind yourself the next day you have to do it again. But you have to keep a way to remind yourself because you won't. Sometimes you forget. Sometimes it, it, you, you got burned so bad that you somehow block it in your mind. 
You know, you go about your day and you're like, I don't know if I want to touch those paints again. I mean, look at the last two canvases that I did. They're horrible or whatever, you know. One way to do that is that I don't think about it. And I learned this from Grant Cardone. I know I, I speak about this guy often in my videos. But this, this, this guy has it down, I think, when it comes to, when it comes to uh, uh, action. When it comes to action, this guy's got it down. He, he talks about one principle that he uses in his personal life. He, when it comes to procrastination, he doesn't think about it. And I like that, you know. It, I, to me, it, it, it made a lot of sense. If you start thinking about it, you will start procrastinating. You know, he talks about it in, in sales calls and like for sales professionals, right? If they start thinking about making that phone call, then uh, they'll never do it. They'll never get to it. You know, they're like, oh, first, but first I'll go get coffee. Or first I'll go do this. Or first I'll go do that. And got to polish my shoes before I talk to that person. Or this or that. You know, all you're doing is just moving around trying to uh, evade the situation. Same thing with everything else. If you're an artist... You're going to try to evade the studio. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. You know, you're going to say, oh, I'm missing, I don't know, yellow. I, I can't, you know, I can't paint today because if you're a musician, I, I, I don't have strings, new strings. So I'll just, I'll, I'll put it off or whatever. All you're doing is evading the situation. You got to confront it. You know, you got to confront the muster. And one way of doing that, the, the best way that I found is what this guy teaches is you can't think about it. You just got to go. The moment you start thinking about it, you're going to procrastinate. You just got to go and do it. And I started putting notes. I started carrying a paper with me, a, 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 a notepad with me, and, and just, and just uh, with 10 things that I needed to do. You know, this is what I need to do today. Okay, I used to do that. I remember doing that when I was uh, a, a teenager, you know. I wanted to be an artist, a, a, you know, a, a successful artist so bad. I used to do notes. But one thing that I did is that I would create my notes and then I would put them away somewhere. And then my day went by, and I didn't know where my notes were. I didn't know what my what my schedule was. You know, in, in other words, there was no there was no follow through. There was no character built because uh, there was a lot of procrastination. You know, so what I started doing that what I started doing then is carrying that note with me everywhere everywhere I went. If I went to sleep, I would put it right right next to my bed. If I woke up. You know, it was it was next to me. If I went to the store, I would carry with me. I know as, as crazy as that sounds, I started carrying some little ones so I would look crazy. But I would keep them in my pocket all the time. You know, take it out and be like, what am I doing today? What am I doing today? What that did it was that it was building my muscle to learn and understand, to act upon things as they came up. Okay, this is what I'm going to do today. I got to go buy art supplies or I got to go make a painting today. I told myself, I got to force myself to do that. But I carried this, this notepad with me. Until I built a muscle. Well, if you have procrastination, you haven't built a muscle. It's like everything else. You can't get from that to, to from, from doing nothing to all of a sudden start doing everything that you said you were going to do. It's a muscle. It's just the same way as you can't go from having a, a, a certain body type to looking like, like, you know, Mr. America or like Arnold or one of those guys, you know. You, you, you can't. It's just impossible. You know, you have to build the muscle. So my advice to you right now is start building the muscle. As soon as you think about doing something, don't go, oh, yeah, let me go write it down. No, that's another form of procrastination. Go jump and do it right now. I need to talk to this person. Oh, I just thought about this person. Go and talk to them. I saw this gallery. You're driving and, oh, I saw this gallery. Yeah, it'd be nice to go and, and you know, drive by and talk to them. No, that's, it's, it's procrastination. Turn around. And go talk to the person in that moment right there. And you will find magic starts happening. Once you start doing things. When you go from thinking, from imagining, from, you know, I hope, to actually doing things, that's where the magic starts happening. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art painter. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.